Hello, my name is Thomas Robertson. Welcome to Botanical Bites and Provisions. Well, I got into farming after attending some short courses from, from Virginia State University and meeting Roland Terrell, my extension agent. He's helped me along all the way. As a matter of fact, from everything from coming out showing us how to um, raise asparagus or how to get our asparagus bed going, how to better use the land that we have here. Uh, he's also introduced me to the testing. He said, Tom, you got to get your land, you got to get your soil tested. He's uh, really helped me to, he's introduced me into things like cover crops. Uh, which I really never knew anything about cover crops, but now I'm, I have one field with field with cover crop that I'm getting ready to level and let that go back into the soil. So I, it cuts down on my use of buying fertilizer. So it's I'm, he's really and he's sticking by us. He's really helped us a lot. We got those sources of information from uh, Virginia State University, United States Department of Agriculture, and NRCS. We use the NRCS, the EQIP program for the high tunnel. As a matter of fact, there's another high tunnel coming today, a larger high tunnel, so that we can uh, grow more. We found that even though we were growing in the fields, we had a problem with wildlife and deer. And so we'll be able to now be uh, to grow things and keep them protected. We also have honeybees. And with the honeybees, we've uh, got, we were able to get a, a grant, so a value added grant so that we could make different products like uh, bees lotion and things and bee soaps and things of that nature uh, as a value-added product for the honeybees. I've always been passionate about farming. As I stated, I, I grew up on a farm. I've been familiar with the farm. And even though I w grew up on a farm, there was still a lot to learn. I did not recognize that I, I didn't know everything. So getting into this and being able to go to these classes, and by the way, the classes were free. And being able to go to all of these classes and, and attend uh, the these classes with, where people actually knew more than I did about certain topics. So it really was a boon of information for me. Yeah. One, of, one, of the, one of the better sources was uh, the marketing, uh, Dr. Teresa Martia. I tell you, yeah, yeah. She came, she gave a class one time, and and this was a class <coughs> in Orange, Virginia, in which she talked about marketing. And I came back here. And I just loaded up some vegetables and put them on the back of my truck and rolled it back, packed it up to the road, and no one stopped. And my wife came down and said, you know, you really got to use the techniques that she showed you. And she came and put a table with a checkered cloth on it and some flowers all around it. And all of a sudden, all these people started stopping. I said, what in the world? It was the same vegetables on the back of the truck. So what I learned from that is marketing is everything. It is everything. We bought this land, as I stated before, we were in the military, and we bought this land in 1988, before we left for Germany. And while we were in Germany, we just doubled down and paid for it. So when we came back, we had all of this land and opportunities to use, and the only thing I would do is just come out here and cut grass. And my wife said, okay, we need to do something else with this, so we started farming. And when we started, it was just farming just for us. And then from there, we saw an opportunity. Our markets are right here because, as I stated before, our location is superior to most because we're right in the middle of an area where there are no other farms and they're growing subdivisions. So we're able to sell right here on the side of the road at our uh, stand that we've made. And uh, we sell tomatoes, we sell cucumbers, watermelons, cabbage, squash, uh, uh, green beans, uh, beets carrots, and I even tried the white patty squash, but that was not a success. <laughs> we are right now currently looking at some other uh, avenues such as some of the food deserts, and we've been approached by some people that are trying to organize uh, to supply food for the food deserts. So we're not writing it off, but we want to move with caution and make sure we don't grow too fast.
Some of the challenges that I've overcome are, as I stated before, the use of water. The use of my resources it really gave me the challenges. And I really needed to develop a plan and develop a business plan so that I, could, I wouldn't use up some of my resources. So, you know, it, it's, a, it's a matter of learning as I go. And my biggest challenge was that I didn't know enough about what I thought I did. So, you know, getting going to the classes, it really helped me out to understand what it was I was doing and to realize that this wasn't just for fun, this was a business. My challenges right now, as I stated, uh, we our shallow well just ran dry. Even though we did good uh, irrigation techniques, the, the well source just went dry. So we needed, we had to shut down our production and dig another well. So now we have a deeper artesian well capable of meeting all of our needs. So that was one of my challenges. The second challenge was that we needed more high tunnel space to protect our uh, produce from the, the weather, protect them from all the, the deer and other things that may like to snack on our, our, our vegetables from time to time. So we're overcoming that by getting another high tunnel, a larger high tunnel approved. And that will be delivered, as a matter of fact, today. So the use of water and a better use of our space, well, those are two of the, the current challenges that we have. To a new farmer, I would tell them that they have to be passionate about it and that I'd also caution them that this is a business. And as a business, you really need help and assistance and that assistance is available through the Virginia State University, the United States Department of Agriculture and NRCS. You've got to use your resources. The one thing I like the most doing is seeing my vegetables grow from seedlings and just watch them as they mature. I, I really enjoy seeing them come up from the earth and start to just produce and see just how big they get. I, I really, really enjoy that. This has been a growing experience for me and it's been a growing experience for my family and we've, we've been able to become closer, my wife, my son and I, since we're out three, the three people that work on the farm. So it's really created an opportunity for us to spend more time together and get to talk while we're out in the fields working. So it's, it's not only has it been productive for us for the business, but it's been productive for us as a family also.